Good everybody. Yeah. Okay, my name is Chancy Walker and I'm the founder. I like to use founder. I'm not a CEO yet because I don't have a board. But when I do have a board, yes, I can be a CEO. All right, uh, but thank you very much. I went natural in 2013. Um, and then there weren't a lot of products, so we were using a lot of foreign brands and all. So I bought um, a popularly VO5 conditioner, and it was really amazing the first time so I used it. But by the third product, by the third bottle, I realized something has been done to it. It was smelling funny, and it was too full to be the usual. I, I said, this can't be real. So when I used it, I even reacted to that product. I had, a lot, I had eczema down my back and it was a bad experience. So I started researching um, how these products are made, studied the ingredients and took some online courses and learned how to formulate um, hair care products. So I started Hidi Rose um, and we are a natural hair care brand. Uh, we're based in Benin, though I came out to be to leave Abuja for this. Uh, and I'm so happy to be here. And today, um, I'm here to actually launch, I'm not here to talk about my brand most, I'm here to launch um, Hued Hair. Okay, um, who has a dream hair color here? Dream hair color? Okay. Dream hair color. Okay. Um, I've always loved coloring. I like the idea of coloring my hair. Even when it, the time I actually started making hair, I always wanted to add some highlights here and there. And, but I was, I was very scared of bleaching. I didn't know why I was back then, but I know I did not want to bleach my hair. So I also liked the way foreign um, co uh, white people particularly, you know, the way they're always all about colors. Somebody is blue today, another person is um, green or something. It was always interesting. So um, back in 2018, I finally took the limp and bleached my hair, finally. The first day, I loved the color. It was vibrant, it was nice, I was happy with myself. I slept and woke up and I declared for my eye. <laughs> my hands were stiff beyond i was i was like what have what did i do i said regret as i said feeling so bad even if i did a lot of research before i colored my hair i i took note of the things i'm to expect and all but i did not expect it <laughs> i did not expect it at all it was it was still reality was still what it was so huge hair is uh, a temporary hair color cream um it allows you to freely change your hair color without any damage you don't have to thank you <laughs> so you don't have to be scared of bleaching you don't have to be scared of breakage even if you um uh even if you've colored your hair before it could still maybe sometimes you uh like she mentioned yeah, she mentioned where she said if you look like she's fading, she will do it again. Yeah, that kind of thing. But you could, um, in this way, you, you don't have to worry about all those damages. Your hair, your texture is all intact. And the best part of it all, it goes off in one wash. It only stains when it is wet, but when it's dry, it doesn't stain. Like, uh, I think I put some here. And I have to, I have to really touch it before I get something on my on my hands and also i um, during the six days i did it to i did a full test i was sleeping on white pillow i placed my head i, I don't really turn someone but i placed my head very well to be sure that but nothing by the time it was dry there wasn't a lot of stain it today with five colors i have a purple i have a dark blue i have a bright blue and um a kind of burgundy or wine then I have a red. Then it can be used on weaves if you want. It can be used, to, used on weaves as well. And so I would like to invite um, CK to please be my uh, model for the demonstration. Please clap for her. So how to use? You could use it directly on dry hair. Or you could use it on wet hair. But since it's a cream for something that is much more... Um, what, what is the word now? Something that is a bit more lasting or more moisturizing. You should have to use it on damp hair. Or if your hair is already dry, you just spray your hair and use it. Yeah, it was 
So, um, so can she says she loves the purple, so I'm using the deep, deep lavender and the purple on her hair. Okay. And her hair is colored already. You can see that her ends are brownish and uh, the root towards the roots are gorgeous. And after you after using the product, you could you can use you use it after you put in your leave-in. You can use it after you put in your leave-in. After the leave-in, you now put your oil or your water and to make it more lasting and so that your hair is still moisturized in the process. So I always I always get the question of how much product do you get to use or from one jar. So I'm taking this much section. I'm just going to start small. I like to start small first. So that I won't uh, put too much in the section. So I'm starting from this small. And I can now increase the amount I want on my end. So I'm going to start from this small. See her hair is or was already colored, so it's going to be it's going to change the actual color of the product. It won't come out the way uh, it would have if it was on this thing, on another type of color. Like if your hair is dark, it comes out a different way. And as it gets dry, it becomes more vibrant. And see the way the color is, it's even defining her color. <laughs> Oh, 
Um, also, one thing that's good with natural hair colorants, for instance, if you permanently dye your hair, you can use, for me, my hair is um, kind of reddish. If I wanted, since I permanently dyed my hair, and I don't want, if I don't want to continue using permanent hair dyes to keep the color, I can then use a natural hair colorant such as beet juice to give me um, more of a red color and make my color more vibrant. And it's, it's healthier, and then it also helps to keep your hair um, moisturized, and it doesn't, helps it not to break as easy. My hair three times, and each time I dyed my hair, I always noticed that I struggled with dryness. So dyeing your hair, since it uplifts your cuticles, it will make your hair more prone to dryness. So if you're already struggling with keeping your hair moisturized, you probably should not be going into dye. If you're lazy, you shouldn't be doing it. And also, if you're not willing to um, keep up with the, the, the payment of buying some new products or anything like that, you might not want to go into it. Next slide, please. And the pros and cons. So the pros of dyeing your hair, the reason why I dyed my hair is because I wanted something new. I was bored with my hair. I've been growing my hair for a while. I think I reached waist length at one point and I was just like, what next, exactly. So I was just like, I'm really bored. I want something different, but I still didn't want to like damage my hair. It was either I dye my hair, I cut my hair, or I put dreads in my hair. So I opted for dyeing my hair. Then another way, it's a great way to express yourself. Like um, the person that said um, earlier, you see sometimes with the other races how they just color their hair anytime they want. It looks really nice. Sometimes you just want to express yourself dis differently. You don't want to look like everyone else. Another thing is that natural hair is the perfect hair to dye because if it hasn't been chemically treated, it's the healthiest hair to actually dye at that period um, of time to experiment on. So also, this is important because I think a lot of us had this experience when we were younger. I know I did because I had, uh, even with relaxed hair, I had an issue with people doing my hair. So anytime I related getting my hair done, I related it to pain. So if we want our children to embrace their hair, we have to, in a way, find ways that make it easy for them to know that, you know, it's not super difficult, our hair is not super nappy, um, it's beautiful. So sometimes when we're doing this detangling thing and sometimes we're frustrated, yanking or pulling your kid's hair is not the best way to do it because they'll relate it back to pain and it'll just make them want to have, oh, why can't I have straight hair? Why can't I have that curly, bouncy hair? Why is my hair like this? So we should try and refrain from doing things like that. And also, use a wide tooth comb. Always start from the ends, combing down, and gently work your way up to comb the full length of hair. Um, and also, detangle in sections. Um, detangle hair while damp, conditioned, or wet. Hair that is dry is more prone to breakage. Use a spray bottle and conditioner as you tangle. Thank you. Um, and then, bring out the phone. When you're styling kids' hair, you know they get distracted easily. So bring out the phone, bring out the tab, and also let them watch something that is their favorite show on TV to kind of keep them distracted. Also kind of help them to get into the nighttime routine with you, satin bonnet, silk scarf, or satin pillow, because most kids, they don't even like wearing things on their hair. Um, and also teach your kids to love um, their hair and to love themselves. I think the main problem that we've had in life as black women and black um, ladies is that from when we grew up, people were saying, oh, nappy-headed girl, go and, go and relax your hair, or why is your hair looking like that, or, or basically we related it to it's ugly, it's not pretty, so we, we wanted that relaxer, we wanted that straight look, we wanted that Korean hair, but if we teach our youths and we teach our little girls now that their hair is beautiful, they won't have a problem when they get older when somebody is trying to intimidate them with their own hair. It's like, okay, your hair can do this. Well, my hair can do this. And your can't, yours can't do that. Because look at it. Caucasian people, I'll just say that. Caucasian people, they have their advantages. But we also have our advantages. They can't do many of the things that 
they would like to do with their hair that we can do. So let's appreciate our hair. The next question will be this section here. So let me see. Okay, so let's say that, um, okay, so right now, my hair, I put products on my hair, and it just sits on my hair, and it's like it's not penetrating my hair. What should I do to help put more, let's say my hair is low porosity, what should I do to help put the moisture into my hair? What can I do? Wait, okay, wait. Yeah. And deep conditioning to open up um your hair cuticles. Almost, but not completely. Almost. Okay. Steam, like use a steaming cap. Yes. Correct. Okay. Congratulations. Please a round of applause. All right. Section from here, from you, from you downwards. So, what are the things that can change the porosity of your hair? She was the fastest. Hair dye. Okay, yes. Um, heat. Yes. Um, well, good job. Can, well, if you use protein treatment, so they can repair your hair and then change the porosity. Okay, thank you. Good job. Well done. Please, let's clap for her. So now this section, and then we'll do a general everybody to see who makes the, the gets the last one so for this section place to go natural first person she's the person big chop on transition correct okay but I still have a gift and this would go to the very first person that came into this hall this morning and that is Elizabeth please where are you oh wow please let's clap for her <laughs> All right, congratulations. Uh, thank you so much. I'd like to say a big thank you to all of you for registering and for turning up and for showing love to Livia with the fro. And of course, um, automatically, all of you are all, they've all been uh, initiated to the Live Gang. Yes. Pointed at you. Okay, you'll be their leader. What's your name, please? Iduno. Iduno, okay. And what's your name, ma'am? Chinelo. All right, Chinelo, okay. So this game is very simple. Now, Iduno, can you come out? okay so now you're going to be here and then this is what's going to happen it's very simple so are they don't worry there's you guys are stronger you know <laughs> okay so what you're going to do is very simple now all of you together you would um, come up with one word okay one natural head term okay it might be deep conditioning it might be protein treatment it might be conditioners you know you just come up with one word, okay? And then she's your leader. She's going to come to you. You whisper the word to her. She goes back to her team. And then she tries to describe the word without saying a word. Okay, so. Okay, the rule is that they don't say, you don't say nothing. She doesn't say nothing too. So when she goes there, she just. Okay, so team leader for team B. Please round of applause. It's not easy to be a leader, you know. <laughs> okay, so this is what's going to happen. You come this way. All right, now you're going to try as much as possible to whisper the word to her so they don't get to hear you. Okay, so you're going to do that right about now. Your time starts now.
Head Ayurvedic deep conditioner. Is that the word? <clears throat> is is that the word do you say yes or no? Is that the word? Okay, team A, um, <laughs> what do you say again? Ayurvedic deep conditioner, okay. It's, that's not the word, okay, so keep guessing. <laughs> yeah, please a round of applause for them. Thank you. Yeah, okay, you answered Afrolicious question, so. <laughs> okay, so you got the Ayurvedic wheat hair butter from Afrolicious NG. Please a round of applause for them. Yeah, thank you very much. I still have three gifts here, and of course somebody has to go on with... The three of them have to go, so the spirit will lead me if I just come to you, ask a question, you answer the question correctly, you go home with something. I'll give you an alphabet immediately, okay? Ah, no! <laughs> okay, okay, alright. So I'll give you an alphabet, and then you give me a term in the natural hair journey that that alphabet signifies. Okay? Alright, what is your name, Ma? Esther. Oh, Esther, she's my namesake. <laughs> okay, so the alphabet is... P. Pripu. Pripu, congratulations. <laughs> oh, that was so fast. <laughs> Okay, ma, please, do you mind? Okay, let me come to you instead. <laughs> yes, for the gift, actually. <laughs> All right, so you got yourself the Adanidet um, Super Hair Growth Oil. So congratulations. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, it seems you won for the whole gang there, for every.
Thank you guys for coming, for being part of the first ever workshop. There's many more to come. If you left your email, you get access to all these slides. So when you get home, you can digest it and everything. If you post pictures, please tag me so we can prepare Instagram. This is a movement, all right? Thank you guys. Now we're just going to dance, continue shopping, and we have some cupcakes for you. Thank you guys for being a part of this. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Ellen Chiyo and I am so happy that I attended the event today. I heard about it, I saw it on Instagram, on someone's page, and I decided to, uh, after the giveaways, I decided to try it, and luckily I won the ticket, and I came here today, and honestly, it was the best experience I've ever had, because I've had my hair for like two years, but I've never known how to cook for it, and today I learned a lot about hair to see how to cook up in my hair, and I know that after now, I will Hi, I'm CK, CK Mana, CK Makeup Artist on IG. I'm the DIY workshop class was quite amazing. I learned a lot. I met Afrolicia and Olivia was so nice. The goodie bag is so pretty. And I learned more about my hair porosity and how to take care of my dyed hair and also the kind of products to use for my tidal hair porosity. And I also got heels. I'm talking guys. Bye. <laughs>